guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to create this test animation from twins for click john uh with this video i need 100 likes this is actually going to be a very long video but i'm going to summarize this for you guys so now let's start with uh do you know uh we're going to add feed on to this so add feed on so add a uh, slow feed on to do you know and let's hide this so hit you to review your keyframes and just uh, move them they all don't need to come so make sure this uh, do come first then you come first before no so all we're going to do is just align the layers so so the no will be the last so let the no be here and you so this is just the, uh, the basics so i'll we'll make some changes do you know why you're here so now let's add tracking to this so go to do and just add increasing to so increasing tracking add it to this hit you to review your keyframes and you can see you can see the uh, the d so the d and the o is now it's like they are uh, they are apart and this is what we want but this is too fast so you can drag the keyframes for the tracking just like this so you can see that they are separating so bring the keyframes again so with this just uh bring the keyframes here and just uh, move the last keyframe apart just a bit so all you have to do is just play with the keyframes and we're going to do same for you and you're going to add increasing tracking uh, hit you to review your keyframes and with this too you can see uh, this is what we have just make sure you move the keyframes bit. so if the keyframes uh, if the keyframe seems fast all you can do now is just move the keyframes apart and we're going to do the same thing for uh, no so add increasing tracking hit you to view your keyframes and move this apart i uh, will later come and uh, adjust the settings so i'm just building this animation so you can see uh this is what we have and, and now uh let's move to the next animation let's go to y and let's go to your here so with this uh for the your we're going to create a position animation so do you know then i'm going to hit p for position and just make a keyframe and go to your y position send it just like so hit t for opacity make a keyframe hit u to reveal all your keyframes then drop uh, make sure the opacity is on zero so we're going to adjust this so as soon as uh, the u starts coming and then we'll have our animation like so we can also bring it down just a bit so go to the position the y position and bring it down just like so so highlight your keyframes is it is just give a normal uh, graph so if this seems fast you can always drag the keyframes uh, so with this uh, we still have to adjust the keyframes uh, you can see that it's so all we have to do is just go to the opacity and move it further apart I saw so that it starts revealing from here so this is what we want and so do you know why so do you know why do you know why let's create the shape now uh, grab your paint tool and we're going to create a shape uh, make sure you turn on the grid so let's go for grids so now i'm going to create a shape and this is what we'll do so uh let me change it to four and now let's try and create the shape so make sure it's not on max make sure it's on just shape layer let's change the size so change the stroke size so with using a pen too, you can always come and adjust uh, the, the shape so you, you don't need to stress yourself just uh, come and adjust the shape so you will now go to the shape and go to properties make sure it's on roundness so for here i'll just go for uh, roundness and and here too i'll go for roundness so i'll get the round edges so you get the round edges here and now we can turn off the proportional grid and the grid also so now we have the shape and now let's change the color of the shape to blue so if you're having problem with the shape you can always go back and change 
so let me go back to my pen tool here and uh, let's make some changes here so i think this is okay so if you're new on this channel kindly subscribe to this channel in case you have any tutorial you want me to make uh make sure you always send it to me on my discord and i have a lot of tutorials that you guys have sent me that i've maybe not even uh, go through them there are so many so now we are going to animate this so i'll change the color back to white and now all we have to do now is just animate this so make sure your anger point is always uh, in the middle and now let's go to our shape i'm going to give it a unique color here for the shape and now let's go to uh, this and let's put it just below this and now let's start with the animation so we're going to animate this uh, along with our uh, our test so all we have to do is just uh, make sure we create a position keyframe so go to the position keyframe for the for the test copy the same position and opacity then go to your shape uh, your, your shape so go to your shape and make sure you paste the same properties here so you copy it and paste it so select your position and your opacity control c go to the same uh, cti and just paste this there and you can see we have so hit you to real keyframes and we have the same animation with so you can see we have the same animation here so all these are basics we will come back and adjust some settings here so i'm just trying to show you how the animation so you can see the animation looks very slow so highlight all your keyframes here and move it just a bit and easy ease go to your graph and now let's make this graph like so so it's going to move fast and very slow and you are going to copy the same easing and let's apply it to the shape so let's highlight the keyframe for the shape and add the same easing so with the here to now let's try and uh, create an animation as soon as this test starts appearing all we have to do is just create a position animation uh, p for position and t for opacity and hit you to your keyframes and now let's go some few frames and move it down just a bit always hold shift on your keyboard so that you get a straight movement and make sure the opacity is on zero so this is what you use you can see this is what we have and you can see the animation looks very fast always make sure you select your position and just easy ease go to your graph and makes a graph like so and now you can extend uh, the keyframe for the position mind you this uh, we are creating this from scratch so so we have something like this so now let's add our tracking so with this just add increasing tracking and hit you to be your keyframes so you can see this so what we have to do is just go to the track amounts and now you can just change the values so that's in here as you can see so let's make this come together here so at the end you can see what we're getting here and now let's increase it just a bit so basically uh this is what we get so now uh, let's add our shape to this and now for the shape let's grab our pen tool here let's go to here and now what all we have to do is just enable our proportional grade so just enable this great and now let's create the shape and we have something like this always make sure it's on round where you set it to round so that you can see the roundness and now we can turn off the proportional grade so we just turn off this so turn off your grade and this is our shape and with this we are going to copy the same position and opacity copy uh, the values we see here select this this control c and go to your shape so bring our shape just below here and now let's change the color and control v to paste it uh, there are so many ways to create this type of animation but i'm just showing you one way so, so now let's uh, create animation for the y so go to y and now now let's get uh, let's create position so before uh, the, the, uh, so before this so before this word do appears we are going to create some position animation so 
go to y and hit on p for position uh, t for opacity and now go in time and just go to the position send it to the top here like so and reduce the opacity to like zero and go some few frames you can see it here so still bring the opacity here and move it this like so so we have it we'll have it appearing just like this highlight your keyframes is the ease so now it's left for the uh, now we have our pressure mark and this so basically we are not done yet we are just uh, building up the animation so all we have to do now is just start uh, making the animation for the question mark and so for the question mark this is what uh, we do